Your plane crashes on an island full of cannibals. I doubt that scenario was part of the training that these airmen received. But when a US Air Force C-47 nicknamed the Gremlin Special crashed into a mountainside, in what was then Dutch New Guinea on May 13, 1945. The survivors had to figure it out the hard way. The plane carried 24 officers and enlisted women. Only three survived, Lt. John McCollum was relatively unharmed, but Women's Army Corps Corporal Margaret Hastings and Sergeant Kenneth Decker were badly hurt. An American Army plane crashed some time ago. There are three survivors from the 24 passengers and crew. These three and the rescuing paratroopers are now walking over those razorbacks towards the mystical valley we call Shangri-La. They soon found themselves in the middle of a native culture, still untouched by the modern world. The natives were known cannibals, but luckily for the plane survivors, the natives mainly ate their enemy tribe. On July 2, 1945, after having spent 42 days in the jungle, and unexpectedly nursed back to health by friendly natives, the three survivors and their rescue team finally escaped the island. Help can come in many unexpected forms during a crisis. The native people could have easily overpowered the surviving crew and had long pig for dinner. But since these people were outsiders, it's likely that rules of hospitality came into play and these people were viewed as important guests, not a meal. They were unlucky to have been on that plane, yet lucky to have lived. You have to read an interesting book by Mitchell Zukoff about this unbelievable story. It released in 2011 as Lost in Shangri-La.